Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy is called a stop to this contest at one minute of round number two, declaring the winner by TKO, Matt the Immortal Brown. Matt the Immortal Brown does quick work tonight, Joe. An outstanding job done indeed. And there's a combination that followed up and the knee to the face right after that. And Matt Brown swarming on him to finish the fight here. Outstanding performance by Matt Brown. I mean, that was probably the best performance of Matt Brown's career. In the biggest stage, of course, on Fox. Tremendous right hand. Big combination and a sick left knee to follow it up. Just a relentless attack by Matt Brown. Matt Brown is getting better with every fight, and Matt Brown put on the best performance of his career tonight on the big stage. And it's that same technique, the head kick. This time it lands with the shin. You see Nate wobble. He goes down from that shot. Let's see it again. That is just shin to the dome. One more time, and there it is again. Bam, perfectly placed high kick by Josh Thompson. And the towel comes in by Nate Diaz's corner. Just as the referee had seen enough, tremendous performance by Josh Thompson. Second head kick was the beginning of the end for Josh Thompson, born and raised right here in San Jose. Take one more look at it, partner. Yeah, what a beautifully placed high kick by Josh Thompson. Nate actually leaned into it, trying to avoid it. It was just on the money. Perfect shot. Wobbled Nate, and Josh Thompson followed up and finished off one of the toughest guys in the UFC's lightweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Daniel D.C. Cormier. And here is the nasty knee to the body by Daniel Cormier. His ability to control the clinch and the ability to make the fight take place where he wants it to. Nasty punches from the inside by Cormier. And he goes to 12 and 0 in his young mixed martial arts career and puts a former UFC heavyweight champion on his list of victims.